Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and when we last left off, we had just finished hauling that semi-truck out of the ice, or I should say, basically, hoisting, uh, instead of hauling that semi-truck out of the ice. So now, what we're gonna attempt to do is we're gonna attempt to get that truck back to the shop in one piece without completely getting it stuck or rolling over or anything like that. Now, as you can see, this setup is going to be insanely long because obviously we have the whole 70-ton rotator, then we have the truck behind me, and then we also have the container trailer. So there's quite a few moving parts here to making this work, but I think we can figure it out. I think we can do a good job of it. So let me center the, uh, the towing arm. And then I'm going to hook up to the front of the truck. And I was thinking about using the axle lift, but I've got to tell you, every time that I've... And this is, not a, this is not a criticism of the axle lift system or of this truck, which this truck is an incredible truck, by the way. Like, that, this is not to say that this isn't an incredible truck. The only thing is... I personally don't really know if it's either the axle lift not working with certain trucks or if I just don't know how to use it properly. Either way, I just have not been able to get it to work the way I've wanted it to work, which is why we're going to be hauling this truck back like this. Now, what we got to do is we got to find an open enough area to get turned around. And once we find an open, up, uh, open enough area, excuse me, to turn around, we should be good to drive back. Now, the other thing is, once we get back to the garage, A, we're going to have to find some place to park it, and B, we're going to finally have to get back into the plow truck and finish plowing out the ice road. So, what I'm going to do is break off of the main road a little bit, but this is just going to be powdery snow. It's not icy, so I'm not worried about sinking in it. So, we're going to do that, and then we're going to make an extremely wide turn that I really, really, really hope this setup is able to make. So... Even if it's not able to make this turn, what I'll do is I will go ahead and go into crane mode. And then once I go into crane mode, I'll lower this guy down, disconnect, and then I'll finish the turn in the tow truck. And then I'll position the tow truck to where we can finish turning around, basically. And then we'll hook back up to the semi and we'll basically pull it around to the direction that we are now. Essentially just rotating it back this way. So, alright, let's give you a quick pull. Just enough. And then once it's rotated, I'll get closer to it. Almost there. And then as long as I can get it up off the ground, there we go. Not bad. Honestly, not bad at all. I'm impressed that we were able to get it done with that little drama. I mean, because keep in mind how long the entire setup here is. It's a very, very long setup when you count the tow truck, the semi, the like the trailer behind it. There's so much to contend with here. It's freaking wild. Also, side note, why are the trailer's tires not spinning? I just now noticed this. I really hope that doesn't become a massive issue once we get to the main roads. Because if we get to the main roads and the trailer locks down on us, we're going to be in a world of issues. I'm going to speed things up just a hair, coming back down onto the ice road. Not a ton, though, because I don't, obviously, I don't want to throw this thing back into the ice. It's bouncing around a little bit. I just want to make sure that we don't, like, cause it to smash into the back of the boom. So we should be all right. Keeping it rolling in about sixth gear. And again, we've got to finish. So we did, in the last episode, if you didn't see that, we did refuel the plow truck. So it's good to go to finish both plowing and spreading out here on the ice road. We're going to have to be a little bit careful once it gets a little closer to this dip, or rather this crack in the ice, because if we're not careful there... It's basically going to lodge the blade in the crack, and that is not going to be good for anybody. You should be okay over the dip. Yeah, there we go. Wow, that wasn't even an issue at all. This is actually going better than I thought it was going to go. It's pretty straightforward to get this thing towed back. Now, keep in mind... Whoa! Okay, lockers. Yep, we're not letting ourselves get bogged down by ice. Not today. Not even remotely going to happen today. Dude. I do love how incredibly effective this setup is, though. Like, it is so insanely effective that I honestly... I honestly don't know if you could build a tow truck with more features. Like, obviously, 
you know, you could build a tow truck mod in SnowRunner, and even the devs themselves have had a go at building a tow truck a time or two. But the thing is, you know, I don't know of any other truck in this game that has this many usable features and functions all packed into one set of add-ons. It's so crazy when you think about what the creator, Puppy Master, was able to achieve here. It's, it's honestly a gem of SnowRunner modding. It really, really is. Let me see what gear it wants to stay in. It keeps wanting to go back to first, which means I'm going to go into low plus, I'm going to lock the diffs, and we're going to pull this thing up out of the ice road and onto the snow and just make our way back to the garage without causing too much issue. I don't want to, like, you know, I don't want to wind up in a ditch or in the snow or stuck or otherwise because I decided to get ahead of myself because I've done that before and it hasn't turned out very well. Has it, Beans? Yeah, Beans agrees, I'm pretty dang sure. By the way, also, if you never use the IX Heavy Wrecker on the interior cam, you really, really should. I mean, obviously the working gauges are a really nice touch, but I really like how, you know, the bobbleheads sit in the right spot. You know, the dice sit in the right spot. The stickers go in the right spot. So you can see the shifter down there. You can see a fully textured out seat. If you look behind you, there's a functional rear window that shows you all of the add-ons above the toolboxes right behind you. You saw that tire move? It's so crazy. Like, the amount of detail, dude. The amount of detail on this truck. I know I've said it so many times, but guess what? I'm going to say it again because it's so worth it. Can we make this turn? Yes, we can. Oh, dude. Not only can we make the turn, but we made it with room to spare. All right. That's actually really respectable. I'm very proud of that. All right, let's pull you on in here. And back to the garage we are. And, oh, dude, we're getting a photo of that rolling in. God, look at that. Full-on heavy wrecker setup rolling in with a semi behind it. That's so wild. Like... What other game are you going to be able to replicate that in? I mean, there are very few, I'll tell you that. With or without mods, there are very few. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and go back into Crane. We're going to lower you down, or not, or we'll just drop you. That, that works too. I mean, it either way works for me. All right, now we're going to go park the rotator, and unless we find any other wrecked semi-trucks, well... The rotator is going to stay parked next to the garage because that's really, you know, that's really where it should stay. Because unless it's being used, this thing doesn't really need to be hanging out anywhere else on the map. So, let's back you up right here and until next time, shutting it down. Now, let's go back into the plow truck and finish this plowing route. So, let's fire you up. Now, you're good to go. All right, so we're going to finish scraping this part of the ice road and also continue to dump the, or rather spread, uh, that, like, gravelly salt mix behind us. So, let's see. Can we make it over this dip without getting the plow caught? Yes, we can, actually. Nice! I was really worried about that. I was genuinely concerned if we were going to be able to make it over that or not, but we actually were able to. We were able to better than I thought we would be. All right, I'm going to continue to scrape this. And as soon as we finish scraping, we'll be, we'll be ready to turn around and go back. So the whole goal with this is to just basically go all the way to the end of the ice road. And then once we've got to the end of the ice road, we'll turn around and scrape the other side and also make sure that the, uh, the fictional, not so fictional material that we have in the dump body also gets spread on the other side of the ice road. So don't worry about it. Now, a little bit further along... Oh, that plow's starting to dig in a little bit. Yo, I'm really glad we got studded tires and all-wheel drive. That's going to be a big help for us because you can see this thing's starting to, like, jump around and struggle a little bit. Almost there, and... Wait until we get right to the end of the ice, and boom. Okay, so, let's see. We're going to let that swing back. We're going to lock the gate. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, well... Dumper, we're going to bring it down, and then that should close the gate, and then now that the gate is closed, I do believe it is locked as well, because we hit the lock option before. So now we're going to raise the plow back up, and we're going to turn around, and then head back to where we came from. So let me get this thing driven up the road a bit. 
Yep, okay, the gate is locked now, so it just has to make it far enough back to get locked into the little pins that are on the side of the dump body. So, get you turned around, and now, let's get back down onto the ice, and then, well, actually, can't quite, okay, now, now, we can lower the plow, because now we're on flat. Okay, so that's good enough. Unlock the gate, and then dump. We'll go ahead and raise you up, and then as soon as we raise you up just enough, we'll be on our way. Let's go! Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about the setup we have going here. The plow is not low enough. Oh, well, maybe it is. Maybe it is, and I'm just a dummy. Okay, plow is low enough now, and I love how you could actually see literally all of the tire tracks from both where our recovery efforts have been and where our scraping efforts have been. Now, obviously... Our scraping efforts are, they are, I wouldn't say they're minimal, but they are only, like, slightly helping at best. But I really do hope, though, that, like, you know, once this road starts becoming a little bit more traveled, that these efforts will have helped. Let's make it a little bit further on down. And then we'll get all this surface scraped. So, let me know in the comments section, by the way, guys, how you're enjoying this RP. Because I haven't really done many RPs where I use the commercial equipment that would be, like, highway maintenance and stuff like that. Like, say, for example, again, this plow truck. This plow truck, I haven't really used it in many RP scenarios, if any at all. And if you're enjoying these RP series and RP videos, um, let me know again in the comment section down below. Oh, no! Oh, God. Oh, boy. Well, this went well. Uh-oh. I'm concerned. We got the lockers on. Can we get out? I didn't even realize this thing had lockers. I'm glad it does, though. Hold on. Plow up. Can we get out now? Please? Oh my god, thank you. All right, dude. Whoo, let's not have that happen again. All right, now we can finish scraping. So, uh, yeah, definitely don't let your truck get stuck in that ice dip. I thought that since it was fine going the other way, I think we'd be, we would be fine going this way as well. Uh, clearly, I was quite wrong. I was quite wrong indeed. Are we going to be able to move any of that ice? Oh, yo, that's so sick. Look at that. Oh, that's so legit. Look at that. Oh, that looks awesome. That's like just a slight little taste of what this game would be like if we could actually plow snow. You know what I mean? Like if we could actually plow snow and scrape roads, that's a little taste of what it would legitimately look like. Except replace the ice chunks with, you know, snow piles. But, dude, that right there would be, that would be the coolest thing. Oh, my God. That would be so sick. And I would be all about it. Trust me. Like, I would literally be doing it all the time. Let's see if we can make our way just a little bit further back. I suppose it is probably kind of realistic, too, the amount that the cab shakes whenever it, like, the plow scrapes along the ground or scrapes along the surface. I mean, I don't know. If there are any plow truck drivers uh, out there in the comments, let me know if that cab shaking is realistic at all. Make it just a little bit further. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, I think I know what's happening. Yeah, so, uh... Man, these trucks need some bigger fuel tanks, don't they? Couldn't even complete a full afternoon of work without running out of fuel! Oh, God, that is bad. Well, I guess we're gonna have to get somebody down here with some fuel, and then we can get this thing back to base. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of the RP, then let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.